What? You mean I didn't abandon this LP? No, unbelievably enough, I did not. Um, according to checking the channel, this is part 55. Um, we have not filmed an episode of this LP in a long time. Not since uh, I went on the, the dumb hiatus of stuff. Um, who are these people? Um, who do we have here? Uh, we, we have a Victory Bell, an Electabuzz, a Walrein. Uh, like, oh, I remember this. This is our starter. This is a Glalie. Uh, Pidgeot, and Whalmer. Oh, yes, we need to get uh, Whalmer leveled up. Why are we having a party, though? That doesn't make any sense. Um, yes, yes, it's all it's all coming back to me now. We're in Evergrand City. Um, we're about to go into Victory Road in, here in part 50. 50 this is Scott. Scott. Hi, Scott. If I am to become Pokemon League champion, the LP is over, and I'm not going to your Battle Frontier, sorry. Um, let's boot up the PC, and... Wait, don't we already have someone in the Yes, we do. Okay, I don't know why I came in here, though. Um, we're gonna go put the whale back in his cage. His caged whale. Um, I know one thing we are gonna do in this LP, before it ends, is we are going to fight the Regis. The Regis, whatever. Um, I don't know why we always pronounced it Reg Regis Steel. Jai instead of G for some reason to uh, me and my friend, but that's what we did. Uh, who is actually in here? Sunny Milk is in here. Wait, I want to leave someone else. Okay, apparently, apparently we left someone in here besides Sunny. Uh, that I believe was a Sol Rock, right? So yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm boxing the jellyfish. Um, let's put Ichiro up for a moment. Uh, let's see who else do we have here. Okay, these Pokemon we caught recently, I believe, Foxy and Malice. We're gonna leave them down here. Um, I know we have Muddy Buddy here. Um, I believe I said Muddy Buddy's job is done for uh, for us. He probably will not be used any further. Um, is anyone else we're gonna use? Okay, here's our relic camp. Um, I think we were gonna take H2 Overkill into the Elite Four just to troll some people. Okay, well, we have way more Pokemon here, okay? We have... Uh, no one I think we're gonna use, though. M milk, 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 milk and Sunny. <laughs> the land of Milk and Sunny. Okay, um, let me see who we have in here. Uh, I know one thing we're probably gonna be doing is just grinding up the... Whalmer. Um, we're not gonna do this video, but we're gonna do it probably next video. Maybe right in Nux. What is that? I don't know, but we definitely don't need Sunny to be the up. Whatever Raiden Nux is. Um, Raiden. Uh, I named it after Raiden, Raiden Knuckle, presumably the uh, TC, Japanese TCG set, but I'm not sure who it is. Um, so we're gonna put not Kyogre in here. But I'm gonna take Raiden Nux out and figure out who that is. Unless it's. Is it a Raichu? Is that what it is? Uh, it sounds like a Raichu. I'm gonna cry. And it is. Um, oh, I know why we were putting that in there. We put that in there because uh, it is an electric type that may be useful should um, we game over and we have to use that instead because we lose everything that's on our team. Um, so let's, let's fly back to uh, Everfan City now. Now, now, that we got, now that we have that taken care of. But yeah, probably next video we're going to be doing this. Yeah. That's going to be next video. Um, because we're just going to be grinding up the... Um, the Whalemur It's not really going to be useful on our team. It's just so we can get it to evolve into a Waylord. And so yeah, I feel perfectly fine doing it that way. Instead of making you guys watch more grind sessions. Which I'm sure you'd probably want to watch anyway. Um, but yeah, let me just thank you guys for tuning back in after, I don't even know, um, I haven't filmed one of these since November, and it's January, probably like me me mid medium, medium November, that doesn't really make sense. Um, who are we going to bring in the team? We're going to bring Boss Goddess, I think that was one of our, uh, standard team members, we're going to get Michiru back. Um, and I guess that was kind of our team. Um, and Obeladon and Raigeki, wow, they're way higher level than these two. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure our... I don't even think Avionis was officially on the team anymore. Um, he just kind of became our flying guy. 
Um, actually, Sunny Milk is decent high level. Um, we're gonna keep Muddy Buddy in the box, I believe. Um, he deserves a rest. Um, okay, that's our death box, Sanzu River. Um, who else do we want in here? Um, I guess we could take Lanoon for a pickup guy. Sure. Uh, we may, we're, oh yeah, that's right, we're also gonna need HMs. Um, that's okay, we have Strength with Lair on, and I know we have Surf. And we have Rock Smash. I think, uh, oh, we, we could get someone with Flash. Does anyone know Flash, or can learn Flash? Jellyfish might be able to Flash. Um, I'm pretty sure that Skarmory can learn Flash. So we're gonna take Iron Cuckoo. 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 I always pronounced it Cucko. I don't know why. Um, do we have Flash? Did we pick up Flash? Yes, we did. I don't know where we picked it up. Uh, oh wait, that's right. You get it in the cave. Uh, why can't Skarmory learn Flash? I am pretty sure that in 4th gen, I have a Skarmory that knows Flash. So apparently that is new to 4th gen. Because, uh, I like to put Flash on Skarmory over, you know, moves like Spikes or Stealth Rock that are actually good. Um, but we have this little plus hole that I guess learned it anyway. It's, seriously, how can... How can... Victor Bell learn it? That doesn't even have any shiny parts on it. You know, at least metal is like metallic. Metal is metallic, imagine that. Yes, metal is indeed metallic. It has the properties of being metal. Um, let's get rid of... Charge. Charge does not boost special defense in Gen 3, so therefore it is not nearly as good. And Owen Don will be our flash guy. I don't think you need... I think Waterfall is useful for, like, skipping a section of stuff. But uh, I don't think we'll be skipping anything. How are we on healing items? Um, how many fresh waters do we have? We have no fresh waters, but we have Soda Pops. Or do we have fresh waters? And they're just not here. Top, like they should be. Um, we should probably... Probably uh, store some stuff, too. Wow, seven minutes into the video and we've made absolutely no progress. In fact, we've made reverse progress because we, all we did was walk out of Victory Road. Um, we do not need a hard scale. A macho brace. We might want a quick call. Um, uh, I don't think we need soft sand. We do not need a star piece or protein. Um, I think everything else we're good. We're gonna. We have soda pops for some reason. I bought way too many of those, evidently. That's common for me in Gen 3 games, um, because you have access to soda pops before you do fresh waters. Therefore, I stock up on soda pops, which is not something you should do in real life. In real life, you should stock up on fresh water, which we have right here. And the only sugars that we. Oh, that's what's right. The only sugars that we in endorse uh, consuming on this channel come from, of course, uh, the official snack of the Diamond Brothers, Skittles Riddles. Mmm. Guaranteed delight in your mouth every time. Um, so let's think about who we need to use. Okay, first off, we're gonna be facing Wally, right? Um, you know, to that extent, I'm gonna go grab Muddy Buddy for one last battle. I am pretty sure that he does not have anyone with, with explodiness. But just in case he does. So I know he's got a... I know he's got a Gardevoir. That's like his starter. No, not you. Um, freaking too much of the same line. Um, where's my buddy? Okay, here he is. Um, to that extent, let's grab the... Bottom. Oh, what? Do we have any good items in here? Because now is kind of the time to withdraw them. Um, a nugget, carbos, uh, hyper potions, those are good. Um, revives, obviously useless in Nuzlocke. Um, I'm pretty sure we have lava cookies. Uh, we're gonna take out elixirs. Why did it only withdraw four? I don't know. Rare candies, we're gonna end up using those uh, before the end of the series, I'm sure. Those are useless. PP up, we can also use max potions, good. Discards all of our energy army. Oh, mean, wait, no, we don't have energy cards in this. Uh, PP max, we may use at some point too. Um, 
not sure what we're gonna use it on, but we'll probably use it. Okay. So we'll put soft sand on Muddy Buddy. Um okay, let me check held items. Okay, you have nothing. You have Persimberry. I'm not sure why you have a Persimberry, but you do. Mystic water, good. Um we could go get the Nevermelt Ice. That is, I think that's in the Shoal Cave, in like the deepest part, but we'll see about doing that maybe. Um, I think your strongest attack is Strength, actually. So let's give you a Soap Scarf. Or do you have Honor? I think you have Honor Tail. You do, but your go to attack is Strength. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's just throw cypress berries on stuff. Um, does he have anything to sleep, people? I don't remember. I don't know what Wally's team has. But I'm just really not that afraid of it. Um, mostly because Crush Draw is a beast. Let's go ahead and heal everyone, too. Crush Draw is a beast. Um, I remember that. Wall Rain is like, has been with us since Petalburg Woods. And has pretty much completely dominated the entire game. I mean, like he's been—he's never even been like really threatened, like at all. Um, let's put on a repel because I want to be at full. I do have repels, right? Thank you. Um, it's like up here, right? Okay, I guess he ambushes you. So let's see. I know he starts with Gardevoir. Now, I don't know if his Gardevoir has Thunderbolt or not. Um, Muddy Buddy has Amnesia. I know Gardevoir can learn Magical Leap. But I don't think it can learn it in Gen 3. Matter of fact, I'm almost certain it cannot learn it in Gen 3. Hmm. Oh! Meteor has Crunch, so let's leave with her. her. Wally, where are you? Wally, there you are. No, I was actually expecting you. No, you better not kill anyone on the team, or... You don't even get your own music. Alright, hi Wally. Oh, you start with Altaria in this game. Lovely. Alright, well, I have Ice Beam, so that's too bad for you. Not a good start. Not a good start. Ooh, um, palindrome experience there. Instead of Del Caddy. No, I can't do Maria versus Ronco. That would just be wrong. Um, let's see what we have. Um, let's go for Boss Goddess. I think that should be sufficient. Point attack. Still resisted, of course. Um, let's go with. Let's go with Strength. Ah, oh, Charm. Does. Not very much at all. Okay. So let's do Iron Tail. And this Delcat is going to be a pain for me. Um, assist. Oh crap. Psychic. Okay. Um, I don't think that. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go to Crush Drop for two reasons. Number one, to hit it from the special side, because Charm is a pain. And number two, because I'm pretty sure that Crush Draw will live one of anything, no matter what, from Delcaddy. Unless it's, like, assists a fissure or something like that. Which it still wouldn't hit, because Crush Draw is higher level. We do not care about Sing, because we have a Blue Flute. So we 
Definitely don't care about the main attack. I'd be surprised if it's at over 20 damage. And yep, it did 19 damage. No, it did 9 damage. <laughs> okay, let's use, uh, let's, we could just encore that. Let's encore that. Do 9 damage to me more, Delcaddy. made Encore pointless. And there's a Roselia. Um, now I'm pretty sure that Crushed Rock could actually probably take out Roselia anyway. Um, but I think we're going to switch into Boss Goddess maybe? Cheer could do it as well. We'll go into Boss Goddess. Will not be bothered. Well, actually, Boss Goddess is neutral to grass. And Leech Seed was the move I did not want to see. Um, however, I don't think Ros Roselia has any sort of. Well. Eh. Okay, does the Belladonna have Sludge Bomb? I guess she does. Let's just go into Belladonna. And yeah, Giga Drain might have hurt because it is neutral and it is hitting the special side. So let's just sludge bomb. There's a full restore. That's kind of good. Get him to waste one. I say waste because uh, as long as you're two at KOing stuff, I don't care. As long as I'm two at KOing you and I'm faster, no, I don't care how many times you cast Max Potion. Well, I guess I do care. Um, if you have infinite copies of them, because I don't have infinite Sludge Bombs. But you know what I mean. Alright, and there's Guard of War. Um, it is level 45. So bad. Let's use crunch. And it looks like a two at KO unless it combines. Oh, it's going to double team. Uh, um, we could double team as well. Um, do we have anyone to like hit through double teams? Don't. So let's just take the uh, take the chance on the two at KO, and we missed it. Uh, and there's a combine, and that's what I was kind of afraid of. So yeah, we don't want to be playing the double team game. Here comes Future Sight. Um, let's see how much this does. All right, not too much. So double team makes us only. Have, ooh, that did like half damage. Future Sight again. Um, I believe another crunch though will knock it out. And full restore. Very bad. So we need to hit many crunches. And we're missing again. Oh no. And it's double teaming again. <sighs> 
See, I wanted him to start with Gardevoir. This is probably going to do additional damage. Um, alright, I'm gonna go into Muddy Bunny, and the reason being is I'm gonna set up Amnesias over everything. Now this feature site, I believe, is gonna take my current special D into calculation, and some I forgot that Gardevoir had Psychic, and that did a lot of damage. Okay, so we're gonna sharply boost... Special defense. Um, let's throw a energy root. Sure. If Muddy Buddy dies, then that would be terrible. As I told him, this is going to be his last battle. It would also be horrible if that got a critical hit. Future side as well. Did it miss? It looks like it failed. Uh, that's very good. We're going to get a. Uh, we're going to get another amnesia up. That should mean we're only going to be taking uh, very little damage from that. Let's throw Earthquake. Now, I believe if Gardevoir gets a critical hit, the Muddy Buddy will just flat out die. Because it did over half. If it's, uh, or did it? Uh, yeah, I think it did. Oh, look at that! Muddy Buddy! Oh, wrecked! Stopped! Stopped, Quagsire! Oh, and a Magneton. That's not gonna, that's not gonna be a problem. Muddy Buddy. Ugh! I was actually a little bit worried there with the, uh, the Gardevoir. Uh, let's give him a Lemonade. What a great Pokemon for us in the Selfie. Try attack is uh, physical in this gen. Not that it matters. We have a uh, Future Psy hit this time. Shouldn't do too much, though. So. Yeah. Just, just look, look. This amazing. I'm, I'm pretty sure that if, well, no, probably Swampert. But Quagsire. What do you guys think? Now, everyone knows that Gastrodon is the best water ground. Everyone who's in the know knows that Gastrodon is the best water ground. And any generation he's present. But, what about the title of the second best water ground? What do you guys think? I'm inclined to say Quagsire. You know, he doesn't get, he does not get recover in this game. But, Swamper doesn't get recover at all. And Whiskash is like just Mr. Bean, so, yeah. Um, I'm gonna say Quagsire is the second best water ground that there is. Um, and there's that frog in 5th gen. But nobody likes him, because we're getting a new frog in 6th gen. Yeah, 6th gen's coming out. Alright, nobody thought that was gonna happen, right? Alright, stop. Stop messing around. Kill the Magneton. I'm sorry, Jasmine. But, uh, Muddy Buddy has to prevail. Guys, I'm 49! No wonder he was taking stuff on like a beast. Fourteen, fourteen experience. Alright. Mmm. Skittles really are so good. Okay, so... Um... Good win, everybody. Let's go heal. And man, Quagsire Amnesia. Is that the first time we've really used Amnesia in this LP? I think it might be the first time we've really used it a lot. Or at least we've had it be like... Like, if we didn't have Amnesia, we could have gotten Gardevoir swept, actually. Um, especially with Double Team. So, yeah. Buddy Buddy, amazing job. Fant fantastic job. You are now officially retired. I'm so glad we brought you in for that now. And when I say Buddy Buddy's officially retired, um, I'm, I'm about as serious as Brett Favre. Which means that he may at any time come out of retirement if we need him. Um, but we are now going to be going into Victory Road, and it is now 25 minutes into the video, and we have done exactly one battle. Isn't that just awesome? So much, we've made a lot of progress this video. Um, 
Um, we're gonna get a little bit further into Victory Road. I don't know if we're gonna do wild fights or not. Um, oh, do we have item finder? Is that something we have? Let's look for hidden items while we're in here. That'll be fun. Uh, here's an ace trainer. Those effect wore off. Um. Who do we want to put up first? I don't know what people have, so we'll just. I want to see as a fighting type, which would be kind of bad. We'll see. See what he has. He has a magneton. Now this is why we should have kept Muddy Buddy in the rotation, but oh well. Um, now we have one Pokemon that is excellent at taking out magnetons in an extremely quick way, which is Rangeki. Um, still one of my favorite gym fights that I've ever had versus Watson. And there's a T wave. Um, what did we have? Is it light screen? Lock on. He doesn't have uh, sheer cold or anything, though, so that's fine. We'll just set up our light screen. Um, and actually, after setting up light screen, um, go to someone else. That gets resisted. Oh, wait, don't, don't we have Earthquake to TM? Because we should probably teach that to Agron. By the way, we need to get Laron evolved into Agron. Um, no. No. Yes. Well, no. We have nothing that hits uh, Magneton for good damage, so let's just hit... Why are you locking on twice in a row? Let's just hit it with Rock Smash. I actually did cut some respectable damage, believe it or not. Oops, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom no longer nearly as... Okay, we're gonna kill that for office. So, Sonic Boom is no, no longer as devastating as it was in that battle with Watson because, of course, Rageki has a lot more HP. Raw uh, HP is much higher. Can we get some defense drops? Nope. Wave again. We have lots of lava cookies, so it's alright if we give... Let's go. Um, it's okay if we give Rageki diabetes. I always get more lava cookies, and that's slow enough that I kind of want to heal, but at the same time I want to keep smashing rocks. Come on, lower defense! Yes, good. Okay, T-Wave. Um, we're at that point where, like, money doesn't matter, right? Um, and I'm pretty sure we can buy full restores. So I'm just going to wait and blow a full restore on this. Because I don't feel like uh, healing HP and status in two separate attacks. Okay, I think another Rock Smash will actually KO it at that point. So let's use a full restore to heal both stati stat stati? Is it status is it statuses or stati? Um, either way it wasn't a status, it was one status and HP. Uh, Rock Smash again, come on. KO. Yes, good. Full HP for the next poke. Good, good, good. And it is a muck. It wants to kick a grass, but we're going to kick its um, hand. I don't know, muck has hands. And a paraproc on Thunder Punch, that's pretty cool. And muck has minimized, which is thankfully only one stage in this game. Um, let's continue to use Thunder Punch. And we want to use Quick Attack. Uh, we we'll hit much weaker defense. And there's a sludge. And that did a considerable quantity of damage. I do not believe that Muck, uh, enemy trainer Muck, would know Earthquake, so I'm pretty sure we can go into into Lost Goddess and say, "Thou shalt not pass." Storming it up. And wow, that did so little damage. I really hope he does not have full restores. Well, since he's going to minimize, you had to say it, didn't you, Cooper? Well, he would use it anyway. All right, this is gonna take a long time. A long time. Oh, look at that, though. We hit and we got defense drop. Serious? It's exactly what we wanted to have happen. And so he knows minimize acid armor, sludge, and something else. Hit a mud slap. 
probably the accuracy doesn't matter because I do not have to hit us except maybe like a pound. Oh, screech. Okay. Oh, boss goddess for the speed up. For the speed up, yes. That was excellent. That was quite possible when you have Pokemon that can't affect steel types. That's why poison type sucks. Sorry, Malice. And the wild fight that I didn't want. What is this? It is a Lugia! A level 36 Lugia! Let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so we have Lugia's in Victory Row. That's just funny. Alright, um, that's gonna be where we end our comeback part. So this part. Three, six, had, had, okay. What was my save system here? I don't remember. I'm gonna assume that these two were like cool things. And then the rest was just. Wow, we have wait. Have we seriously been playing this since like May? Um. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you next time for part 56, which should be up hopefully way before um, a month from now. And thank you guys again for sticking with us. Um, we should only have like four, maybe five episodes left to go for the game, and that's that, later days.